for distilled water or urine, know that there's four distilled waters. There's not just urine. And that's the beauty of this new knowledge coming out, is you don't just have the one option of urine. You have the one artificial source of distilled waters, which is any machine-made distilled water, whether it's a, a steam distiller or there's solar distillers or even reverse osmosis machines. They become very close. And this is a new category to add to close enough, as in horseshoes and hand grenades. You can also throw water in there because it's a matter of how close you get to a zero purity, to zero parts per million, which you can use a TDS meter to measure your water. The TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. It's a very simple, wonderful tool, about $15, and you can stick it in your water and it'll give you a readout of the parts per million. And you perfectly made distilled water should be zero parts per million. But I have a friend who has a reverse osmosis machine in his house, and his comes out at four parts per million. But he, he's having the exact same fountain of youth effects. He hasn't changed his diet at all, but weight is just shedding off of him because he's doing the proper amount. And this is what I'll tell you now. You need to drink a gallon a day of distilled water. And this may sound like a lot, but it's not. And I can show you there's a number of places where this is already happening so you can feel comfortable with it. The first thing is to look back at urine therapy. Whenever anybody does one of these 30 or 40 day fasts, and I've done it myself, I've done 30 or 40 days, but I've done a seven day fast, and when I measure the daily output, it's a gallon to a gallon and a half. In fact, when I did measure, it was exactly a gallon and a half. Because if that's all you're taking in and you measure it every time you pee, they're drinking, on average, a gallon to a gallon and a half. So you mimic this. If, you, if urine is not for you, you can mimic this by drinking a gallon of distilled water, or the fruit juices, or the precipitation, rain, mist, snow, dew, and fog. You got any artificially made distilled water, and you got the three other sources. So there's four of them. The three natural sources are all the living fruit and vegetable juices, all water inside plants, all waters inside the bodies, and all waters that Mother Nature makes in the hydrologic cycle. So we have four choices of waters to choose from, not just urine. And I get phone calls and emails and testimonials from around the world now on a daily basis. And never do I get testimonials of a miraculous nature from people that are drinking a quart to a half a gallon a day. And in liters talk, a gallon is roughly four liters. So I never get testimonies from people drinking a liter to two liters a day. It's always four liters slash a gallon. And you need this volume, it seems, to start a river running through you. You've had two, three, four, five, six, seven decades to collect these deposits. And your body, most people are not even drinking hardly any water at all, let alone this volume, let alone pure water. And pure water has nothing stuck to it already. This is the problem with mountain spring waters and spring water and mineral water. These are water molecules that already have a load attached to them, so they've got no more room to pick up new objects. So that's the purpose of drinking pure water, is it's got lots of room to pick up new objects. And if you've lived all these years, the riverbed of your body has run dry. And there's settlements and deposits everywhere. And you need to get this a volume flowing through you to re-wet the riverbed. There's parts in your body that haven't seen the proper flow of water in a long time. And you'll find it easier, and people testify this to me all the time, it becomes easier and easier to drink the gallon a day because the cells start to remember that, oh yes, water, that's right, I remember what it's like, because your cells function their best when they're on pure water. And people move from, boy, it's hard to drink a gallon a day, to they actually start craving it, and actually starts to become easy, and a lot of times they get beyond the gallon, and they start going up to a gallon and a half a day. And another way to feel comfortable about this is that in the distilled water books I mentioned, they generally recommend a gallon to a gallon and a half a day. So we got those doctors saying that, plus everybody that's ever done a urine fast, they drink a gallon to a gallon a day. 
So the body can handle this. A lot of people try to scare you away from it, say, no, that's too much. Well, okay, I'd say five gallons would be too much. But the most I've, recommend, I've seen a doctor recommend is a gallon and a half. You know, maybe, and that's for the average five foot 10, 150 pound man. So you have to correlate or do the math yourself above and below that. If you've got a 75 pound, 75 pound child, then a half a gallon a day. And obviously, if you've got a, a seven foot tall man, I'm sure he can handle two gallons, but it'll just have to use your own intuition after that. But the method is, and it's so important, I just have to repeat it. If you remember nothing else from this film, drink the purest water you can find, and just as equally important is the method is the volume. You need a high volume, you need a gallon or four liters a day. People that do this, here's a general pattern of what happens. Within three days, they start to feel more energy than ever. They feel this subtle lift, because what is water? It's two rocket fuels. It's hydrogen and oxygen. These are full of energy. General pattern, what I noticed when people start drinking the gallon a day. And it doesn't matter whether it's urine, juices, precipitation, or distilled water. I mean, any combination, just as long as the total volume per day is a gallon to a gallon and a half. And within three days, people notice more energy than ever. They start to look around, everybody else seems like everybody else is moving slow. Well, it's because pure water is full of hydrogen and oxygen. These are both rocket fuels. They give you lots of energy. Soccer players and football players, after a big run, they huff on oxygen. Um, elderly people who have trouble breathing, they have to carry around a prescription for a, a, an oxygen tank, and they carry an oxygen tank, and they breathe on it. Well, pure water is two-thirds oxygen. And I know it says H2O, and you might think it's two-thirds hydrogen, but the hydrogen molecule is very small compared to the oxygen molecule. So a gallon of pure water is really, you know, that's a huge tank of oxygen. And so it gives you this energy and your body starts to function better. And then, so that's at three days out and from there you'll start noticing that at 30 days out, you'll know that this is right because your skin you, you, it starts to feel moist and dewy and uh, it has a sheen to it. And you will have constantly kept feeling that, that energy. And at 90 days out is when things of a miraculous nature happen. But they're not miraculous. It's just the way that water works. The miraculous only compared to what you're told is possible in Western medicine. But the reason it's called the fountain of youth is because it starts to de-age you. And just here in Colombia alone, I have three 70 to 80 year olds who have had pure white hair for at least two decades. And all three of them, their hair is turning, they're turning from white to gray. And then I think two of them have black hair. Sometimes they go, Andrew, look, and they show me their hair. And there's pure black hair sprouting out. And one of them, Joe, has got a white beard. It's been white for at least two decades. He's got black, he says it looks salt and pepper colored now. So he's reversing in age. Um, and they haven't touched a drop of urine. But you see, these are exactly the same effects you, you hear about in urine therapy. The lost fountain of youth. And it's called the fountain of youth because it de-ages you. And this is the reason you see this common garden fountain sculpture around the planet of the little boy peeing into the fountain. This is a hidden pictogram for the fountain of youth and it's even following the same pattern. The boy pees into the fountain, and the pump sucks it back up, it goes into it, and it pees it out again. Well, this is what you do when you practice urine therapy. You pee out into a glass, and you put it back in, and you pee out into a glass, and it keeps going around and around in a circle. And it gives you life, and the body starts to de-age, and it comes back to life. But I'm seeing the exact same effects by people who aren't even touching urine. I've got three people who have had complete bald spots on their heads 
And after doing the gallon a day, at about 90 days out, they have a brand new patch of hair growth in a spot that was perfectly bald, and they didn't even touch urine. Now I know this is blasphemy to a lot of people in the urine therapy world, but you have to understand this. This will help you to get so many more people healthy because a lot of people aren't ready for urine in the beginning. And this helps you to make the transition. Let them do distilled water for a month first. Let them clean out their body without the terrible flavor. It's hard for people to stop eating bad cooked food and nasty food, which makes the urine taste awful. Let them drink the fruit juices or the distilled water. This cleans out and it makes the blood highways the first system to be clean because you can't move garbage out of the body if the highway system is full of potholes and boulders and garbage and debris. The urine starts to become clear.